When I mention old Minecraft YouTubers, who comes to mind? To many, there is one name that would pop into their head. This man was a true pioneer of Minecraft, inspiring thousands to get into the game for themselves. His videos sit among other legendary Minecraft series, such as X's Adventures in Minecraft and Paul Souls Jr's. This man even has a record of his own, the longest running Let's Play series in the history of Minecraft. Today, we will be diving into the story of the Minecrafter known as Ethos Lab. Let's begin. Ethos Lab would upload his first YouTube video on November 13th, 2010, titled Minecraft Boat Dispenser. It was a system that dispensed a boat at the click of a button, holding up to six boats at once. As Etho had always had trouble with boats floating away and cluttering up space, this was the perfect solution. When the player finished with the boat, they would bump it on lava, as such breaking the boat down into its component pieces, to then be collected by the player. He made this video on the alpha version of the game, meaning dispensers were yet to exist, so Etho had to make his own, utilizing water streams and doors to move boats along long, and to shoot the first boat to the surface for use. The contraption was very advanced for how early it was in Minecraft history, but Etho wouldn't stop there. He would continue to make YouTube videos showcasing his Minecraft contraptions and builds. His second video would be a world tour of his first ever Minecraft world, which was extremely impressive for its time. The world included many large buildings, farms, and various contraptions. During late 2010 and early 2011, Etho would release some very advanced Minecraft contraptions for the time, and he would mainly focus on this in his uploads. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to go down, hit that subscribe button, back to the video. In December of 2010, he would release his famous advanced transportation system, known as EATS for short. The system used water streams spaced by signs in order to reach the maximum speed for a boat. The system could be set up like a road and acted like one too, with the ability to merge four-way intersections. It even featured an abandoned boat handling system. For this reason, Etho believed it possessed the potential to be better than minecart transportation. This was still very early on in his YouTube career, and Etho would not yet talk in his videos. This would all change on December 18th, 2010, with episode 1 of his Minecraft Let's Play. Hello everyone, my name is Etho, and this is my new Minecraft world that I've started. Uh, lately I've been having a lot of people asking me to make a Minecraft Let's Play series. Etho's Let's Play series was among the earliest Minecraft Let's Plays in history, releasing shortly after X's Adventures in Minecraft and Paul Source Jr.'s series. Etho would mention how he usually plays on peaceful mode, but for the purpose of this Let's Play he would play on hard. He would also assume that the viewer already knew the basics of Minecraft. As nightfall dawned on his new world, Etho bunkered down in a hidey hole he dug out of the sand in a beach. The video would end with him emerging from his hole to find the sun rising on the second day of his Minecraft world. Etho would continue this Let's Play series for 101 episodes until its conclusion on September 15th, 2011. The series spanned many versions of the game and ended on beta version 1.8. Although this would spell the end for this world, Etho would go on to create his next Let's Play, which would be the longest running Let's Play series in the history of Minecraft. But more about that in a minute. Around this time, Etho would upload a short series on a player-made map titled Canopy Carnage, which was a large island covered in a dense forest featuring many dungeons. The player would spawn next to a broken nether portal atop the giant trees, and had to survive in the hostile world. The map had a very surreal look, almost like something from a dream. The series would end in October of 2011 on episode 15. This period also saw many redstone contraptions by Etho, including a water spawner contraption in which mobs would spawn and be pushed by redstone and water out of a spawner box. The video has over 500,000 views and was designed to be used in various Minecraft maps. Fun fact, Etho's Minecraft skin is actually based on the character Kakashi Hatake from Naruto. He chose the skin because it was one of the most detailed available at the time. Then on September 30th, 2011, Etho would begin his famous longest running survival Let's Play series. Titled Episode 105, A New, counting from episodes in the previous season, he would spend the first first episode gathering resources and mining, clearly more experienced than he was in his first series. One of his most notable builds from this world was the Man Cave, which was a fully decorated cave with grass floors, wooden architecture and multiple farms. It is probably one of the most well recognized Minecraft bases of all time. An interesting fact about Etho is that he doesn't use custom thumbnails in his videos, just a simple screen grab from the video or a screenshot from his Minecraft world. This is a tradition that he continues to this day. Alongside his main series, Etho would also make a Let's Play on the famous Minecraft SMP. Minecraft was one of the first Minecraft SMPs and pioneered the idea of a YouTuber SMP. 
In his first Minecraft video he played with Goode, the leader of the server, and B00. He would join Minecraft during Season 3 in November of 2011, and would begin recording with Doc M, their friendship beginning with the two pulling a prank on Goode. Hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Look, I'm a caveman, I got a bone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got you some goodies, buddy. In 2012, Ether would also get to know Seth Bling, and would appear in many of his videos, such as the Pit Frenzy game and TNT Olympics. The TNT Olympics was an Olympics where everything was done with TNT, and Ether, Seth Bling, Ant Venom, and Captain Sparkles would showcase Seth's map. Ether's YouTube channel continued to grow at an impressive rate, and in July of 2013, he would upload his 1 million subscriber special, just under 3 years after his first ever upload. To this date, Etho has not revealed what he looks like, but he has given some descriptions to viewers. Etho is 6 foot 2 and describes himself as very skinny due to his crazy metabolism. He says he sometimes wears glasses and that his hair looks similar to that of his Cube World character, a game that he once played. As part of the April Fools update in 2013, Mojang would actually implement an item known as the Etho Slab, which appeared as a half block of TNT. It functioned like normal TNT, however when it exploded it would drop anvils on nearby players. This was a reference to how Etho often attempts to kill players with falling anvils. Fast forward two years and he would go on to join the Hermitcraft server in its third season, with his first video uploaded on March 4th, 2015. Etho toured the server with a player named Biffa and saw a world full of incredible builds, with many paths connecting the different Hermit's creations. This season of Hermitcraft was on version 1.8, being the last season before Elytras were implemented into the game. He would build a remote jungle base with minecart tracks connecting different portions of the base. Around this time, Etho would also enjoy playing and uploading many modded Minecraft videos, which were very popular at the time, acquiring hundreds of thousands of views per video. Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho. Welcome to the beginning, the start of something truly amazing and wonderful. The series was known as Etho's Modded Minecraft and was played on his own custom mod pack. It included mods such as Applied Energistics, Biomes of Plenty, Galactic Craft, and the Twilight Forest, to name a few. In classic Etho fashion, he would focus a lot on the technical sides of these mods. As 2015 went on, he would also play other games such as Terraria and Ark Survival, expanding the type of content he put out on his channel. He frequently made lots of mini Let's Plays at the time, featuring mods such as Terra Firmacraft, we now jump two years into the future to 2017, and Season 5 of Hermitcraft is underway. The season was primarily played on the version 1.12, and saw many features that old Minecraft players weren't used to. These included elytras, as well as a wide range of resource farms built by many of the Hermits. Etho, along with B00, Doc M, and Vintage Beef, had concerns that the Hermits were playing Minecraft too fancily, and wanted to restore the old-fashioned way to Hermitcraft. They decided to form the new Hermit Order, NHO for short, and set up base in a remote jungle biome far away from spawn. We aren't messing around. First of all, we're very old school, are we mm -hmm. not? We, yeah, we're we've been around this block multiple times. Yeah. And these guys, they're like, oh, new snapshot. Ooh, new ways to break the game. New ways to make it basically creative mode. <laughs> Upon settlement, the NHO realized their base was directly next to a mesa biome, and they attempted to enforce taxes on the mining of terracotta. This sparked a bit of a rivalry, with many hermits rebelling and creating their own group, La Revolution. A turf war between the two began, which would end in the NHO claiming victory. Sadly, they would disband before the season was up. Interestingly, Etho actually shares a birthday with fellow Hermitcraft player Cubfan, but is three years older. Shortly after, upon the release of Minecraft 1.13.2, Hermitcraft would begin Season 5, which Etho would not be involved in and instead would go back to his other projects. It was also around this time that Etho's vanilla Let's Plays uploads became more scarce, and from March to May of 2018, he would only upload 5 episodes. These were episodes 500 to 504. It seemed that Etho was getting bored of playing his vanilla world, and who could blame him? He made over 500 episodes. He would continue his vanilla Let's Play, though uploads weren't too frequent, and would even make a Pixelmon series spanning 39 episodes. We now jump forward once again to December of 2021, where Etho began his second season of Etho's Modded Minecraft, mentioning that Season 1 was one of his favourite series he had ever done on his channel. He would also use shaders during this series, and paired with the incredible terrain from the mod pack, the videos were very aesthetically pleasing. This was actually one of the most popular series on his channel, with the first video getting 1.2 million views, and subsequent videos getting well over 500,000 views each. His uploads would be more scarce, however, and since the series began in December 2021, 
2021, he has only made 11 episodes on it, the latest being released a few days ago. During the past year, Etho has continued to upload his vanilla survival series and keeps trucking along, with episode 576 being the latest. He still keeps hundreds of thousands of viewers coming back to watch and is always finding something to do in his very old Minecraft world. He also has other ongoing Minecraft Let's Play series, including Hermitcraft Season 9 and Limited Life, a custom SMP with YouTubers such as Good Times with Scar and Green. To date, Etho has over 2,400 videos and continues to upload regularly to this day. Etho's Lab is one of the oldest still running Minecraft YouTube channels to this day, and even after uploading for more than 12 years, he still manages to bring in hundreds of thousands of viewers. For many of us, he was the first Minecraft YouTuber we ever watched, and inspired us to try the game for ourselves. After all this time, he has remained true to his roots, and he still continues his vanilla survival Let's Play, as well as mini Let's Play series on the side, as he always had. I believe this is the reason he remains very successful on YouTube. Instead of changing games or style of content, as YouTubers often do, Etho has remained extremely consistent and as a result has some of the most loyal subscribers on the platform. This is further demonstrated by the fact that he doesn't even use custom thumbnails. From incredible contraptions to entertaining Let's Play videos on the Hermitcraft server, Etho never fails to entertain. To this day, he continues to upload his videos in classic Etho style and millions enjoy watching. He is truly a Minecraft pioneer. Thank you for watching this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.